Okay, let's keep an eye on the Beko Kitchen because today Mark is joined by Kit Pereira. How are you, Kit? Lovely to meet you. Lovely to meet you too. And Mark. Morning. I tell you what, this guy's still buzzing off the cricket a couple of days ago. <laughs> yesterday. Because that's where, yes, it was yesterday, yeah. wasn't it? And this is, you know, you started with cricket, but now you're into cooking. We are yeah. so pleased to have you here. I can smell that aroma. And uh, what are you going to be making for us today? I'm going to be making a monkfish curry. Oh, nice. Got nice. lovely fresh flavours. Mm -hmm. Got Cuban cardamom cloves, cinnamon. Yeah. Fresh curry leaves, black mustard, and fresh chilies with some light coconut milk. Oh. So very healthy and nutritious. Beautiful. Have you seen how many chilies we've got? We won't be using all of those. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Mark's always trying to make everything extra spicy. There you go. Uh, and the inspiration behind this meal, of course, it's from this cookbook, Eat Well, Live Well. That's right. So it's diabetic friendly. So we're going to learn more about that, but yeah. more importantly, we're going to see how to put it all together. Totally. It? Totally. It smell good already. Oh, you can smell the, all, all the aromas coming off. It's going to be great. Okay. We'll see how to make Kit's monkfish curry a little later on. And it's great to have you with us in the Beko Kitchen. We are joined by Kit Pereira. He is, a, a, he loves cricket, that's how he started in New Zealand, but we'll talk about that a little later on. But he's part of this new campaign because it is Diabetes Action Month. Eat well, live well. It's yeah. a great cookbook. You can see it there right next to Mark. And from it today, we're making one of your monk fish curry recipes. Monk fish curry indeed. Oh yeah. Um, so, Let's get started. You can tell Mark what he needs to do and you can explain a bit for us. And then as we're cooking, I'm going to find out a bit more about your history. Is that all right? Yeah, that's fine. So for the spice, we've got turmeric, which is very good for you. Yes. And it's, it's a good healing herb. So we're going to have a half a teaspoon of, of turmeric. We're going to have half a teaspoon of paprika. Oh, it smells good. And the spice blend. So the recipe of the spice blend is in the, in the cookbook. Okay, because this, this is a spice blend you can make at home from this cookbook. Totally. And it oh, smells so the smells so incredible. Yeah, it's got your blend, is it? Yeah, it's my blend. It's got Cuban cardamom, right. cloves, curry leaves, black mustard, yeah. half cinnamon. A teaspoon. Half a teaspoon, please. And we put some olive oil in there. Yeah. And get the marinade going. And then that's plenty of olive oil. Get that mixed up. And then Mark, I'll get you to. Nice chunks nice of monkfish. Nice chunks of monkfish. The monkfish is pretty good. It's a quite okay. a firm fish. Okay. And it's... it's uh, so it's, it stays together. It stays together. And also, it's, uh, it's got, uh, it got, you know, the right amount of uh, the oily fats in it, so which is very good for you. Amino acids. Okay, so good. it's good for your, your digestion, etc. So it's a, it's a very economical... Yeah. Uh, dish. Also, if you can't get and it's monkfish, great price as well. Isn't totally, it? Oh. monkfish is very good at the moment. And if you can't get monkfish, you can use kingfish fillets. Okay, great. Yeah. Okay. Well, look, why did you want to get involved with the Eat Well, Live Well Diabetes New Zealand Cookbook, which is available now, by the way? Um, well, I, 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 ironically, I've been giving to diabetes Auckland, which is now part of New Zealand, diabetes New Zealand, for fifth, about since 2003. So the auction of a package called Chef for a Night, which is my concept. And uh, proceeds from that goes to Diabetes New Zealand. Now, and I found out too, a cat. Uh, he started. He came to New Zealand to be a professional cricketer, and he's done yeah. a lot of coaching. And uh, you started by doing a dinner. Was it for Christ College? Back Christ in College, the days? yes, yeah. Yes, Christ and everyone yeah. loved his recipes so much that now he's like full time cooking. He's still involved with the <laughs> kitchen as well. Uh, still involved with the cricket, cricket aren't yeah. you? So the, the cricketing chef, right? The cricketing chef and the cricketers. <laughs> they have to eat well and live totally. well, don't and they? One of the reasons I wanted to get in more with the diabetes. Uh, cookbook, Eat Well, Live Well, is part of my cricket coaching is to educate the, the, the future stars of good healthy eating. And it's a big part of it because yeah. what goes into your body, it goes into your mind. So it's in terms of thinking proper, being athletic, you've got to eat well. Yeah, and this is the thing with this cookbook. I mean, it's tasty food, but at the same time, it's, it's good food for you and specifically tailored for people with diabetes. So you can make this at home. It looks fast as well. Like Mark's racing through it. You've <laughs> Some onion, you're doing he's, all the work. he's doing he's banging away. He's doing very, <laughs> it's doing very well. It's it's a very easy recipe to put together. I just turn this off for okay, a cool. you need, because we've got some smoke okay. going all over it's you. All right. um, but the, talking about the book, it's got lots of good uh, nutritious uh, recipes in there. Uh, there is a traditional Maori boil up in there, which I love. You know, and there's a Pacific uh, dish chop suey in there, and there's also a good old-fashioned 
Health efficient chips. Oh, New Zealand style. there you go. Health so, efficient chips. Yes. Oh, we love so it. There you go. Is that mushy peas in there as well? <laughs> yeah. We have 50 plus recipes. This yeah. is what we are making here. And over the next few days, we're going to have some more chefs like Kit in to help share their eat well, live well food. So we'll come back very soon. We'll see the rest of this recipe a little later on. So where are we up to with this? Well, we've di well Mark's done most of the work, to be honest. All of the work. Kit, Kit and I just been talking cricket <laughs> and healthy eating. Uh, so yeah. anyway, we'll get our hands dirty yeah. now. We're going to Cook. So, so what do we need to do now? Olive oil yep. into te the temperature, right temperature. So okay. About, about a tablespoon and a half, maybe two tablespoons. Okay, and to great. that, we got to get the black mustard yep. seeds to pop. So you got to be careful when you put black mustard seeds in hot oil because they tend to pop. Okay. You How hot does it need to be? Hotter? Yeah. Okay. Cool. So you're starting to see it's, it's coming together nicely. Oh, look at that. You, you, you got to let it pop so it releases all the mustard oils. Oh, you that's see? exciting. Right. I can hear it as well. Yeah. Yeah. Like if, popcorn. You, if you don't actually get it to pop, it's, it's going to be quite bitter. So, as well as as well as nutritious, it's got to be tasty as well. Oh yeah, right. like that's that. sort of, yeah. Now well, here we go. That. We're popping away now. Popping away now. Into that now. Stand back. Curry leaves. Okay. Now we got the onions going. Get the onions going. Lovely. Excellent. Can you stare away oh, now? Yeah, I can stare away Lovely. now. Lovely. He's putting me to work. I feel it's like one a of very his cricket <laughs> protégés. <laughs> I'll be playing for the Black Caps before you know it. Yeah. <laughs> totally, it's part of the preparation. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so we get that uh, sort of lightly caramelised, not all the way. Mm -hmm. And after that we're going to add the ginger and garlic paste, fresh chilli and the spices. Get the coconut milk in there and the fish to finish off. What would be your tips for eating well and cooking healthy? You know, the book's obviously a helpful tool, yeah. but for people watching at home, what would you say to them to try and, you know, to help with people that have diabetes or even just reduce your risk? Well, it's, it's common sense, really. Okay. It's lean, lean protein, right? Yeah. Um, lots of vegetables, fruit, uh, high fiber uh, food, and, uh, you know, low fat, sugar, um, content so and, and lots of chilies. It's very good. <laughs> oh, chilies are good for you. Yeah, chilies are good for you. Chilies are good for you. Can I just say this smells incredible so far. Yeah, so it's as I said earlier on, you know, it, it's all about you know if you're eating deep fried food every day, you well yeah, that's not going to work, is it? Right, it's everything in moderation. Totally. But when you're eating that food, yeah. then make sure you do it the right way. Totally. And with yeah. this dish, it's, it's also got the spice. It's got uh, quite a lot of Ayurvedic benefit factors in there. So it's right. very good for your di diabetes. Nice. And not only diabetes, it's very good healthy eating. So also and tasty as well. Tasty as well. And fast and simple. Can you smell the aromas oh, coming through nice yeah, coming good. together nicely? And right. into that now we're gonna go paprika and turmeric or okay, cool. with the bait. put it on there Mark. And okay. a teaspoon of the spice blend. What Give that a quick stir. Yeah, what would you what would you serve this with? Now, in the recipe book, I asked for uh, brown basmati rice, which is really oh, yeah. good for you. Yep. Uh, but today I bought in some string hoppers, which is made of red rice flour, which we do in Sri Lanka. Okay, it's nice. basically steamed uh, disc of uh, little noodles, aren't little they? Noodles, yeah. Stick together, yeah. yeah stick cool. together. As is breakfast, I bought that in. Okay, we've got 30 seconds left, so what right. do I need to do? So let's go with the coconut cream, coconut milk, coconut milk, okay, low cool. fat coconut milk. It's yeah. light. Okay, good. About 300 milliliters. There you go. So you're still getting all the traditional flavors, the traditional totally. taste, uh, but you just have a few little tweaks that make it much better for you. Totally. Oh my goodness, it smells so good, Kit. There you go. Oh, I love it. And when that's, uh, it's reducing nicely now, so to that we can add the monkfish. Okay, cool. We can do that soon. Yeah. A bit, bit later, but let, let that just reduce that for a bit. Because yeah. how okay. long is the monkfish going to take to cook? About 20 minutes. Ah, oh, there Let's you go. Okay, nice cool. and slow. Let's Perfect nice timing, and boys. Yeah. That'll be good. Okay, we'll let this reduce, put the monkfish in. You will see the finished product very soon. Thank you so much, Kit, for coming in here. This recipe, along with many others that are diabetic friendly but tasty for the whole family, are available in all good bookshops from that book, diabetes.org.nz, with all proceeds going to Diabetes New Zealand. <laughs> okay, it's over to Mark and Kit, and although it's not vegan, it's diabetic friendly. The monkfish curry smells incredible, boys. Are you happy, Mark? Oh, I'm very happy. Yeah, look at that. It, looks, <laughs> it smells fantastic. It, it tastes is. even better. Hey, look at these. These are red rice noodles to go with the monkfish coconut curry. Absolutely fantastic. That's all plated up. You yeah, ready to bring try it over. Oh, yeah. That's gluten-free. I can eat <laughs> it. <laughs> Yay! <laughs>
Thank you so there much. You there you go. Looks and smells absolutely fantastic. Enjoy. Thank we you. Will we will indeed. And what's on the menu tomorrow? Mark? Well, I'm going to be joined by Claire Turnbull, and we're making another recipe from the book.